this Toyota Hybrid has over 200,000 kilometers and the fuel injector has never been cleaned before. So let's take out the injectors in three, two, one. Okay, we took apart absolutely everything. We took apart the spark plugs, the EGR that is going to require cleaning as well. Look at the intake, where the fuel injectors go. Look at the intake valves right there. Ah, pretty dirty, right? We took out the spark plugs. These are definitely the original spark plugs. Obviously, they're supposed to last about 100, 150,000. As you can see here in the fuel injectors, I want to show you something very, very important. What do you think is the condition of this injector? Look, one, number two. They are kind of dirty, but with 200,000 kilometers, why are they not more dirty as previous vehicles that we clean that were actually way worse? Actually, the answer is very simple. The Lucas upper cylinder lubricant. This for me is the very best fuel injector cleaner and upper cylinder lubricant. Not only because it has the very best properties to cleaning the injectors, but also it lubricates. I was actually expecting the throttle body to be a little more dirty, but look, it's fine. And yes, this intake also requires a little love. But okay, okay, let's stop wasting time and let's go and set up pretty quickly the fuel injector machine. Okay, rule number one before putting the injectors right here in the analyzer. You cannot put the injector just like this in the analyzer because remember, that uses a fuel pump inside with probably a tiny filter. If you put this injector like this, you're going to contaminate the liquid and the pump inside. So obviously clean the injectors in the ultrasonic, make sure they're clean, and then let's go to the analyzer. That's how it's supposed to be. You can use this only for this part, but not here in the tip. Be very careful. Okay, watch this. Let's let the cleaner do its job. Look, yes, with a little patience. Just apply a little key cleaner. I'm actually using some choke carburetor cleaning, which it really does the job. You don't want to put the, uh, the brush, a steel brush right here in the tip. Don't do that. You can damage the pattern, the spray pattern of the injector. There it is. And I'm just going to just clean it up. Look, clean, right? Well, we could say they're clean enough, but did I mention that we have to replace all these seals as well? And I always strongly recommend use the original, okay? Now that wasted any time, let's put them in the ultrasonic. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. You have to place this until it reaches almost the complete injector holder. Let me start the ultrasonic. There it is. That's it. The ultrasonic is doing its job. And so because of this, I'm going to show you my personal trick. Here we go. I'm just going to use the same liquid, place it over inside the injector, and look what happened. Can you see the liquid going down? See this injector? Yep. Look. It going down, so I'm gonna have to continue flushing it. There it is. Whatever impurities that this could have before, look, the ultrasonic completely takes off everything and leave these injectors as good as new. Now we're going to place the brand new seals and install it back in the car. Look at the injectors, are they looking? Oh, impeccable. Eh? These injectors are as clean as they get. Let me just place them in where they belong. Right here. One, two, three. I don't want them to, to hit anything. A second. There it is. Number three. And finally, the number four. I'll have to place them this. Okay, once they are in position, they are supposed to move like this very soft there you go this is how you know the injector is impeccable all right the next step i'm going to put this brand new spark plugs my number one very carefully make sure you don't drop them just let them go down number three and number four you always take advantage when you're doing this type of work that you're taking apart everything and check the vehicle's ground. So look, look at this surprise. Very careful, you know, you gotta clean this properly. Otherwise this could call a complete vehicle shut down. Holy moly, it's getting dark. Okay, so the EGR is fully clean. Assemble these spark plugs. 
The fuel injectors are impeccable now. I already cleaned the throttle body as well. Did I mention that I also clean the intake manifold and looking impeccable? Clean properly the airflow sensor as well. Let me just place it in position. That's it. Let me see. There you go. There you go. Connect you here. Connect you here. I'm going to place in position the, uh, the purge valve. This is the evap system. Okay. Fully connected. Let me just take this up. Holy cow, look. I think we're funneled already. Let me start the vehicle. Here we go. Give me a sec. Uh, the vehicle's been stopped for over a day. All right. Let me put it on ready mode. Okay. Let me turn it off. I'm gonna put the ignition on back again three times because remember the system is completely empty. So I want the fuel injector pressure rail or the fuel injector rail pressurized. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see, two, one. There it is. There it is. All right. Engine has started. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's normal. That's normal. That totally happens. Let's just wait until the system stabilizes. And the fault should go completely. This is what I call a complete fuel injection service. All right, let's quickly check the idle. Let's see? Mm, I think it's a little higher. Let me just. Give it a relearn to the throttle body with the scan tool. Learning value reset and look, she's idling perfectly now. All right, let's just give it a quick acceleration. Here we go. Oh, yes. It definitely feels stronger now. Woo. It's incredible after the service. Check out the, uh, check out the fuel trims. We have over here the short term and the long term. Look, practically zero, which means that this is burning impeccable. This vehicle is ready. So if you want to know more, stick around for this. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe.